Hey, Sandra Gerard from SandraTWP.com. I'm here to share with you about Start Right um, software. I really wish this software had been around when we were first struggling with learning to write. There are so many helpful aspects that I simply have not found in any single tool elsewhere. So I'm going to share those with you right now. And I'm going to start by just creating a new document. This is the default on how it starts out. And if there's anything here that you're concerned about that you don't like, you can customize everything. So I'm just going to type some simple words here. Uh, well, I just typed cat twice. Let's make it um, tat, a little old school there. Mat, rat, sap. Okay. Um, these are set as dots, and the dots look like they're at about 50%. Oh, they're 25%. The, my kids did well tracing with dots, but they would have needed them closer together. So that's a way that you could do that. If your children do best with solid lines, you could do that, but then maybe you could just fade them out and um, make them look kind of gray so that your children will be more motivated. And look, there's no such thing as the word rat gnat. So I'm going to make that pat. So you just see, I'm just arrowing around to change that. Now, if you want to add in your, your stroke arrows, one, two, three, you can do that starting dots. Starting dots were very important for us. You can do the letters where you fill in. You can do decision-making dots where what needs to happen. Like I said, you can customize this all. You can even color code the first stroke, the second stroke, and the third fourth stroke, and up to the fourth stroke in each letter. Um, you can uh, put on a little art. Let's say you want to have a little art. I'm going to make my text box smaller here. And I want to add in some art. Now, I have it set to black and white because we do not have a um, a color printer. So I just am choosing from some black and white art. And this, this came with the software. I didn't have to go out and find it. I wonder, is there not a cat in here? Oh, there's a cat. And since my first word, cat, I'm going to go ahead and put this cat here. Um, and you don't have to do this. It's just a fun thing to do. You can put border art. Hello. So my computer's slowing down now. Well, it also includes this border art where you can have the little pictures going around the picture. Now, it's the default is no border art. You can choose color if you have a color uh, printer, and then we could have hats marching around. Um, I have to make them bigger to actually look like something. Hats marching around my at word list. Um, I have a black and white printer, so we'll see what would be there. I don't see anything that sounds like at, but uh, we could just, what's this gear? Oh, gears. You could just have some, you could just have some shapes. You could just have something to brighten up the day a little bit if you wanted, but you don't have to. So I went through and showed you this menu bar right here. Everything here is replicated up in here and um, and some of that is replicated here. This is how you change the font. This is another way to change the font. This is changing the orientation of your paper. Like I said, in this piece of software, everything can be customized. So if you have one child, if you have seven children and they have seven different needs, you can come into this one tool and you can make what each child needs even if your child's got the typing skills, they can come in, they can type out their copy work, and then they can go ahead and, and trace it themselves, or they can copy it out, they can write it, they can do it for their siblings. Okay, thank you so much for your time. This video has gone a little bit longer than I like them to, but to be honest with you, there are so many features in Start Right, I really couldn't take any less time and do it any kind of justice. I hope that you will think about this for your homeschool and decide if it would be a good tool for you. For more information, you can look in the notes underneath this video and uh, check out my blog because I'll have more information and links there for you too. Thanks again so much. I really appreciate your time.